Last training session in Amsterdam, eh? I was about to say Rotterdam. I don't know why. Wrong city, mate. Back on boys. Second time round, back on boys, we are. Done chest yesterday. Chest and tries, it was nice. But like I told you yesterday, why I didn't record it. Just went shopping instead. They annoyed me. <laughs> yeah, they annoyed me. <laughs> nah, it's not what happened. It is what happened, but it's partially the reason why our boat's there. I wonder if we're going to make it. I'm not running for it, mate. I'm conserving every, every ounce of energy for this session. They come so frequently anyway, who cares? In yesterday's um, shopping vlog, shops vlog, shopping vlog, sounds so gay bro, <laughs> when I said it I was like bro I'm not, never saying that again, when we went shopping yesterday mate, I forgot to tell you what, um, what uh, I've done for the session. I've done a machine chest press, three, three sets of machine chest press, three sets of dips, three sets of decline push-ups, which is an incline press for the top of the chest, three sets of cable flies, cable crossover flies. Moved on to triceps, three sets of dumbbell overhead extensions, three sets of straight bar push-downs, cable, and um, three sets of bench re dips. That was the workout. How long have we got for this boat? Please don't close on me. You know when you're in this awkward moment where you want to run but you don't want to run? Oh, 37 seconds. It's like when you're going to get on a train but you know it's closing but you know if you run, you'll make it but you sort of might not and you don't want to be the bloke who runs into a closed door. So you just don't run and then you walk and then it closes and you think in your head, fuck man, if I ran, I could have made it. And then yeah, <laughs> I was in that situation then. But nah, plenty of time. I just don't give a arc with the camera anymore. I just don't. <laughs> There's a time where I was conscious of it. If I got into a group of people, I wouldn't do it. They'd all look at me because I'm talking to a camera, but now they give a fuck. I feel like I'm um, a local now on this boat. There'd be people who catch this boat just daily routine for years and years. Hey, that's sick, bro. Mad life. I should have done, but I got myself a push bike. The walk does my head in a little bit. I've done a mad time lapse on this boat yesterday. It's in my Instagram story. By the time this video comes out, it'll be out of my story. But if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. I stood right there. And my shoulders were burning because I had to stand here. I stood here. And I had to like, so I put my back to make it stable. You know, if you do a time lapse, you gotta make it stable. I put my back and then I rested the phone on my brim of my hat and time lapsed it so I could be perfectly still. And I time lapsed this all the way until everyone got off. And then everyone got on. It was like five minutes of just perfect holding my shoulders. My front delts were burning, lad. And all I was thinking about is Super Saiyan and your slide and like the front delt burn, it all goes to a higher power and that, lad. So I just maintained the ladder full went out. I'm only stick with it and that, lad. And I said, you can't give up. It's for the gram, lad, you know? It's for the gram.
Today's not that cold, I'm gonna be honest. Not compared to yesterday and the day before. I've been pretty accurate with those uh, weather guesses so far, eh? I don't know type of what the weather is. Weather. I should just have a weather widget on my home screen on my phone. Hey, oh, that's for Melbourne. Weather here, mate. I was gonna say 18. Three. Okay. Feels like minus one. That fucking feel like minus one to me, mate. Feels like it's like eight degrees, man. I'm ready to swim. All jokes aside, I don't know how. It's three degrees. It feels like minus one. I don't feel that. There's a, a girl there in a skirt, a dress. It's not that cold, bro. I think. Google's tripping that, I swear to God. <laughs> Minus one, nah, but uh. Rusty lad, because of the cold weather. I've been putting moisturizer on. I don't know, cuz it's got all crusty. I think because it's like thin skin over the bone. My ankles and elbows are just like turning into cornflakes, lad. Oh no, it's got a seat in there. That's hectic! Bro, if I was a kid, I'd love that. Look, bro, they're everywhere. Bro, <laughs> it's like a mat capsule with windows, right? You're in there, you're cozy. You can imagine, bro, and it's full raining. And your mum or your dad, they're pedaling, hating life, and you're in there just, hey, 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 look at me, brother. I'm nice and cozy. <laughs> Oh, that'd be sick, bro. I was looking at bikes even chained up here. They are, though. Every single bike is chained up. I was thinking there's that many bikes. You wouldn't even chain them up anymore. Like, does someone need to steal a bike here? Plus, they're all, like, bodgy bikes. It's not like they're, like, treks and giants and stuff. They're just, like, full standard, like, grandma bikes. Maybe, maybe people do steal them, I don't know. I don't know if I'm talking loud or soft. I've got headphones in and they got noise cancellation on. AirPod Pro 2s. I should probably, you know when you got headphones on, <laughs> noise cancellation especially, and you talk to someone and they're like, what bro, you're whispering. I hope I haven't been whispering the whole time. I'm either whispering or shouting, I don't know. Let me turn off this noise cancellation and I'll know. I've been talking like this the whole time. That's pretty loud. 
All right, I've been talking pretty loud. <laughs> I've been talking pretty loud. No wonder why people are looking at me now. I'll talk like this, I'll adjust it to this volume. I'm wearing the jumper I got yesterday. Look how mad it matches my hat though. Oh, you can't see my fucking hat, can you? Yeah. Like, I didn't even think of that. This store? No. Next building up. That place is called Sea Palace. Clearly it's a Chinese restaurant. On the water. It's pretty sick, it's pretty big, eh? Three stories, all of the levels I can see from here have seating. Wonder if that's ever been pumping. Wonder if it's ever been pumping, eh? It's open now. So block at the front door. See? It's early, 9.30, not too early, 9.30 in the morning. Here we go, man. Here we go. Uh, they got um see instead of I got this work these pre workouts, these little ones this time. But they had that many, so I just got two lad they had well they had like three flavours in this brand. Pre workout venom and then they had two flavours in Explode. I'm pumping them both, brother. I'm pumping them both. We're getting jacked off our nuts, mate. <laughs> this one's got um Betanine, arginine, taurine, caffeine. 80, 80 milligrams of caffeine, so it's not that much, which is all right. This one has betanine, arginine, taurine, a couple other things, and ca oh my God. This one has 200 milligrams of caffeine. Fuck. That's about 280, so it's all right. Wow, yeah, 80, 200 milligrams of caffeine. But how does everything else compare? Better alanine, two and a half thousand. Better, bro, this is, this is mega. This is, everything is like half strength of this one. So we're having one and a half of these. Anyway, let's go. Thank God the music's not too loud, bro. Thank God. All right, brother, childproof packaging. Open mate. Oh. 
Oh, that's venomous, brother. <laughs> venomous. It's called venom. <laughs> I swear I didn't mean that. Bro, I'm done with these childproofs, lad. <laughs> I'm just munching it. If something's childproof, just bite it, lad. That's the way around it. I'm not playing your games, mate. I'm not solving your Rubik's Cube. I'm trying to train right now, mate. I will chew your head off. <laughs> Anything childproof, just, ah, yeah, childproof. Let's go. Alright, brother, let's do this. Oh, bro, even the water's childproof. Come on, mate. Playing these games. I'm not training in the jumper. I'm not even warming up in my jumper. Bro, I've only got like, this is only my, f I've only got two jumpers and two jackets this whole trip. We're about to go to Copenhagen tomorrow. It's even colder than here. So it's like, with how cold it is, like you can rock your jumper for a while without it being dirty, you know what I mean? But I'm not, definitely not even warming up in it. I'm not getting no sweat in it whatsoever. stuff in a bin. Wish I had a locker, bro. I hate carrying stuff around. I actually think I can leave it here. Like everyone else is leaving their stuff here. I might be able to leave my bag and the Uchi Guchnos here, lad. leave it here but at the same time I don't it's got like all my euros in it it's got my passport in it I'll just have I'll always be like I'm in my head but here's my bag here's my, here's my stuff there um, I'll leave it somewhere else like in the middle of the like in the floor around one of the machines you know what I mean where I can keep an eye on it but I'll like I won't carry it with me everywhere it'll do my head in but we'll leave it I don't want to leave it over here you know what I mean there'll be times where I can't see it Right here. Right here. Right there. I'll leave my water bottle on it and I can wear I do pit stops for drinks. Alright, let's format this workout. Um Nice and simple, pre-exhaust. The reason I say pre-exhaust is because they're assisted chin-ups. I could just say chin-ups straight off the bat, but is it right to say pre-exhausting my lats if I'm doing them in some sort type of assisted, concentrated way? That's how I see it anyway. So maybe the term's not right. I'm gonna start with assisted lightweight chin-ups, get heaps of blood in it and tire them out before I move on to rows, dumbbell rows, seated, some type of cable machine row, and then something else for the lat again, pull down, maybe assisted chin ups again, maybe. Very similar to the last workout. We'll think about boys when we get to boys. 
assisted chin-ups. I'm probably not going to find an assisted chin-up machine. I did. I just did. Yeah. Assisted chins. Um, right, smash straight into this. Let me just have a look around. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just having a quick look around. Still trying to learn this gym, love. I'm gonna have an issue here. Let me have a look here. Do these have chin up handles on them? Alright, I'm overthinking it. I'm knocking these, bro. I'm knocking these. Let's go. There's 28 kilos of, apparently, 28 kilos of assistance. Didn't feel that much. I like the motion of this because it's, it turns, it, it, it has the anchor point in the middle. Don't ask me to do the kinetic physic explanation of this, but the anchor point's in the middle as opposed to pulling it from somewhere at the bottom. Just makes it feel real steady. I have no fucking idea if that's the reason it feels steady, but it feels steady, mate, and I took an observation that it's anchored in the middle. So there you go, mate. What else could it be? WD-40, that's what it is. I've got to get into some type of murder mind state, lad. Too casual. That's fucking oge, bro. It's the murder mind state, lad. You get into that fucking... K1 kickboxing mind state, lad. 
Everything, everything you do, cars in the gym should be a murder. It should just be compared to a dead set murder, lad. Savageries, that's it. Full savageries, lad. I'm gonna smash this workout. I'm gonna smash this workout's head in. Let's do this, bro. Let's do this. Let's go, you motherfucker. You piece of shit. Let's oge. Huh? Oh, you can't. One, two, three, four, four. One more. That was a good set. That was a good set. You fucking dog. Went after I done last night's shoot, brother. Wait till you see the shoot. The red light district in Amsterdam. I don't even know how I'm gonna put it out on my other channel. <laughs> I don't even know, cuz, how that's gonna be able to be released, but. But it started like snowing halfway through my shoot. I don't know, what, what's it called? It's like ice was falling out of the sky. What's that? <laughs> it was so, so cold, bro. When I got back to the motel, that bed was so cozy, lad. Felt like a little marshmallow, brother. Let's oge. Let's do this set, you putrid fucker. Let's go, bro. Cracking jokes here in the middle of this car. Boom. Ready? Ready? Let's go, mate. Three. Four. Hold. Hold. Oh, bro, you know what I just noticed? Halfway through that set, that pre-workout just kicked in. My whole face just went tingly. We didn't even wait for the pre-workout to kick in, eh, to train. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting that. Anyway, it's kicking in now, bro. Halfway through that set, biggest. Better Alanine face tingles all over the head, lad. Let's go, brah. Oh. All right, we're moving on, lad. We're moving on. Take a sip of water before we do overdoses. Bit of water for my chest, let's oge. Alright, dumbbell. Dumbbell rows, bend over dumbbell rows. Fuck my up, but after yesterday's workout. Brother, had a finger on the pump. 
Cause I put in my Instagram story, I look like a warlord, lad. I look like Lex Luger, the total package. Cause Ultimate Warrior already talking about full Ric Flair in it. I was like, what is this? Don't you know I was on some fucking nice juicy steroids, lad? I'll be raging against the machine, brother. Raging against the machine. Fuck you, do what they tell me. I'm gonna. I know we grabbed 34s last time, but listen. You don't progress in your weight until you've progressed in your skill in that particular weight. If you know what I mean, like, if you're using 34s and you're yanking them to get up and you're not controlling the lower, lowering part of the move, why would you move to 36s? The way I see it is when I'm good at 34s and I pull them up, squeeze, lower them comfortably, that's my sign to move to 36s. Could I move to 36s and yank them up? I probably could. But that's not how it works. That's just how you get injured. Not, that's not how you progress. Progress is like the skill, the controlling movement. You know what I mean? Combined by the weight. Especially after chin-ups. This is heavy for me after chin-ups. Maybe like as first exercise. After doing that, like pre-exhausting your lats, for me to move on to this, it's heavy for me. Every time I do a set, my blood goes to the head and the head with the tingles. These are heavy, so that's why I'm trying to have extra rest between these. Two minutes plus. Other exercises, you know, 60 seconds is fine. For me, this is, this is the main exercise. This is the back exercise. A heavy bent over row, that's, that's the back exercise. You get what I mean? Everything else is supplementary to that. Alright, ready for sets.
Bro, this pre workout, this pre, this pre workout is taking my breath away. I think I fucked up taking both of those. If someone from Sydney, someone watching from Sydney, for the time that I'm home, for the months that I'm home or weeks that I'm home, recommend me a, a more of a exclusive gym around the inner west area, around the Dulwich Hill, anywhere like Hart, Five Dock, I don't really mind, all around those areas, that is, um, this is a bit more exclusive and doesn't play music. It's very important to me. I don't want to be to a gym that's pumping music. I don't care about the price. I'm not concerned. At the same time, I don't want it to be private, like it's just me there. And then I gotta make friends with the owner because it's awkward. <laughs> I still want it to be the same. And like people, can, public should still be there. <laughs> so I'm not obliged to talk to anyone, you know? I don't want to stand out with my GoPro as the only person there, you know? But a good quality gym too. Like I said, I don't care about the weekly cost. As long as the quality matches the price, you know? Alright, last set. That exercise puts a big strain on my lower back. I just noticed. Could be the reason why in the opposing half of the week, well, two days from now, they're so tired leading into those, even no weight deadlifts, toe touches, whatever. After that set, it's just there's a lot of work I don't, I don't mind there's no harm oh bro it just started full slushing outside does that even rain all right what are we on now a machine row look outside i'll come and show you this Bro, there's little, I don't know if you can see them. There's like little snow particles. You probably can't see them. It's like, it's like water 
and like in the middle of it is like little floating particles like floating white particles like some droplets are turning into like little ice flakes I'm happy with my effort in those two exercises I won't walk away from this session disappointed I was a little disappointed yesterday I'm not gonna lie with my effort in the chest session especially nowadays with the four day split so it's one extra day of turnaround and I think to myself I didn't go 100% I think fuck I'm not gonna progress and I've got to wait another four days until I can hit some progress again so there's essentially eight days with no progress I swear to god it's snowing outside I'm not tripping hello yeah the lady just asking me about the filming so I turned it off for a sec but she goes like what are you filming I don't know if you're allowed to film I was like, yeah, this look it's snowing it's snowing I told you it's fucking snowing you thought I was tripping bro it's snowing <laughs> I know I sound stupid but mate I'm from Sydney mate for me to just be training in the gym and then look out and it's full snowing is just off its head <laughs> look at that I've got to go do a shoot it's um after this session I've got to go back to the motel upload this recharge the battery and go into the hood I'm gonna be going into the hood in the snow that's cool as fuck bro that's cool as fuck I love that bro into the hood in the snow brother All right, machine row. Let's get back into the workout before I lose my progress. Um, a machine, I'm a ch chest supported row. I feel like there's a machine here. Um, yeah, I think we do it here. Like a T-bar row. I'll put some plates on it. Yeah, I like that, a T-bar row. We'll do this here. angle there I have no gauge of what's going to be heavy or not with this, so uh, I'm just chucking that on, we'll see.
That feels so good. That feels so good. I love that exercise. I'm gonna do that exercise as often as possible when we train back. That has such a nice motion. Nice motion. And I don't mean that in a comfortable way. I mean that in a discomfort way, like it's hitting the back really well. I love that, bro. I love that arm. Um, T-bar. Chest supported T-bar, bro. That's what that is. Well, wow. A good variety of machines. He's so helpful. You don't need them, I'm not saying that. There were people out there that say, you don't need nothing but a barbell. I'm sure you don't. You don't even need a barbell. People in jail have proved that you can be an absolute weapon with nothing but your body, but you can always do something better. Um, seated pull-down machine. Do a seated pull-down machine. Um, whether that's cable or not, um, I feel like there's one. Yeah, is this one? No, that's not one. I'm trying not to film other people, just me. As of the lady's request, fair enough. That I was ever going around filming people, I said to her, "I'm just filming me. I'm walking around talking and." Um, filming my exercise and she goes oh no that's okay then like I'm eating like a creep um all right this is what we'll do we'll do this seated close grip cable pull down this do this yeah we'll do that I think that'll be a nice actually yeah because I've done the other one wide so this one should be this nice close grip cable we'll do it nice and light we'll get a pump a simba
It feels good. I'm getting a good stretch, stretch on the lats. Doing a lot of bicep, that. I feel like that a lot in the bicep and forearm, which I don't mind. The next exercise we're leading into the biceps. I've lost like 50% of my stomach. Started out with a embarrassing stomach, fat. I'm doing no, if you've noticed, there won't be any ab exercises in the routine. No concern with ab training until the fat is gone and the muscle is built. To me, abs are like, they say abs are made in the kitchen, I don't believe that, but they're definitely res revealed in the kitchen. The kitchen is what, when you take your shirt off. In the kitchen, you're not gonna build abs. Abs need to be trained. They actually don't need that much training, but they need to be trained. But my concern now is building so much muscle that I become a thermogenic fat burning machine as a baseline because my body has that much muscle to support. It's, it can't hold fat. Um, when we're at that point and our fat is going, almost gone from our stomach, and we have a big size and shape, I'll start chucking in ab exercises as like, then the icing on it. Right now, absolutely no concern for that. My concern is to get big. Pre-workout wasn't too bad. Didn't hit me too, too bad. Hit me just perfect actually. Feels good. Let's get into this. It's the last set for back. Amazing what a little switch of mindset can do. I near failed, jumped off, and thought, fuck that. Jumped back on and done like another five. You know what I mean? Power of the mind. Alright. Biceps. We'll have a rest here. Not too long though. But we'll definitely have a rest. I want to rest my forearms. Where are my tendons in my forearm? 
specifically my left forearm where they attach down here near the elbow. There's a lot of strain on those, man. They hurt like, especially when I'm gripping the chin ups, even the first set. It's like they hurt. The bloke, see that bloke there? Did you hear that noise? He was just trying to do an incline bench. Um, he didn't have it locked in properly, so when he leant back, uh, it dropped and he just played it off like nothing happened. And I'm just kidding, <laughs> like he was trying to do a flat bench. It was a good move. So then everyone looked around and there was a noise and he was just pumping, pumping reps out like, was it me? <laughs> All right. We'll do these biceps over here. Do them over here. If I can get a stable spot for you to support you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. That seems alright until someone comes over and touches it and you say, you say gonna tumble away? I'll do them either. Out of the way everyone. I think I'll grab um I reckon I grab 16s uh, I think I'll, I'll grab 16s, see how they feel. That felt good, six things felt good.
ever my arms are always lagging my whole training life because I follow push-pull legs like that's how I feel like they've always been the lagging muscle hopefully two months from now three months from now following this hopefully they they get ahead you know what I mean hopefully bro Let's go, third set. Oh, that set absolutely wrecked me. <sighs> that set absolutely wrecked me, lad. Oh, I was struggling to get through that, lad. We're coming. Well, so that's, that's two ways deep. How long into the journey are we? This is only the second cycle of back. What are you talking about? This shit literally started seven days ago. <laughs> We're coming, brother. A few months. A few months will be. Um, I want to do a straight bar curl, a straight bar curl, where's my bag over there, don't touch my Gucci mate before I fucking come over there and fucking give you the hoochie poochie leg, I'm going to put these dumbbells back, give me a minute, oh, you just stay in here brother, I'm not carrying these around like a circus act, what's wrong with you, I'll give you the coochie poochie brother. You know what they don't have here? You know that pre-weighted uh, set of straight bars? They go from like 10 kilos to like 35. I don't have those. So, I think you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna curl. Unless we go and load up a barbell. I'm not doing that, but I too lazy for that shit. <laughs> um, 
I think. Look. This is a bicep curl machine. We're doing this, mate. We're doing bicep curl machine, brother. R -r -r Remix. <laughs> oh, there's a preacher curl over here. Um. And we'll do the preacher curl, eh? We'll do the preacher slant. very targeted pressure straight on your biceps and nowhere else. I like that. Takes everything else out, you know what I mean? It doesn't have the greatest motion. Like it don't have the greatest motion, I feel. Like you don't feel, feel a resistance through some long consistent range. But having said that, in the points that you do feel the resistance, it's so targeted. It's like a burn straight in the core, you know what I mean? It's nice. It's a, it's a piece of the puzzle. That's what it is, it's a piece of the puzzle. It would n not be a standalone bicep exercise. No way. shot there. I'm going to get my phone after the third set and take a nice uh, missile on that. practice shots <laughs> little insta practice shots did you see me like I was imitating holding my phone then <laughs> Yeah. 
Looks like pure trucks, then. <laughs> Why does it look so like pure trucks? <laughs> Need some content for the whole Instagram, the Instagram crowd too. You know what I mean, cuz? <sighs> One exercise left. One exercise left. What do you reckon? <sighs> um, some type of cable move. Guillotines. I love guillotines. Guillotines or um. I think. You know what I think. I think I'm gonna do a cable. A cable. I'm gonna use this here. Cable bicep curl that starts out like a hammer and then twists at the top. You know, you do the little gamiso. I'm not too into those little gamiso moves, but I think we'll do that. We'll get it. Pull it up with a little twist at the top. We'll do one of those, bro. Why? Because I couldn't be bothered finding something else and it looks cool lad then it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing and that lad, you know, we do the twist of ruse lad, you know, there's a science to it. I just turned that into straight hammer kills. That twist is a fucking pile of shit. <laughs> I just thought, fuck that twist. Well, I just smashed out hammer reps. <laughs> We're doing hammers, lad. Cable hammers. Okay. <laughs> 
Lad, I don't like hammers. I don't like that exercise. And I may never do them again. I don't like hammers whatsoever. I feel like it's all forearms. I know that there's a distribution between the two. Scientifically, it may be more bicep than it is forearm. I don't know. I'm telling you how it works on me. Everyone's different. And exercise will hit you, emotion will hit you different to how it'll hit someone else. For me, that's a 70% forearms, 30% bicep. It actually makes me want to go and do a different exercise. I just want to do one set of a different exercise to make up for that. Oh, like one set of some type of just standing straight bar curl or something. Because I feel let down by those hammers. Like I honestly do. I feel let down by them. Just smash out. Just an unweighted bar or anything. There's a light set here with the tens. Just a final pump set, just because that stressed me out. <laughs> Sorry, but that stressed me out, bro. It really stressed me out. I hate hammers, brother. Just one final pump set. brother that's all we're working with lad that's all we're working with second round of back and boys what are we eight days nine days deep into training that's what we're working with lad so this is the comparative shots three months from now i want one of you to make some cut downs make cut downs of these vlogs comparing brother progression Yeah. 
I'm out to Ode Bay, eh? He's only been sent out of Connors. I'm actually quite happy with this bag. I might get a couple Mad Bomb bags. It's like I match my wife. <laughs> like three. Just three mad bougie bum bags. What am I doing for the rest of the day? Back to the motel now. Quick shower. Plan out this shoot. Heard to leave soon. Going into the hood. Come back and relax for the night. Eat food and get ready for tomorrow. My flight tomorrow to Copenhagen, brother. Going to Denmark tomorrow. I love it. Never been to Denmark, bruh. I want to see what Denmark's weather is right now. Copenhagen weather. Oh my god. <laughs> their, in, their weather right now is minus two. Feels like minus seven. Bro. Alright. This afternoon, I'm going to buy some more pants. <laughs> and maybe a snow jacket lad feels like minus seven well minus two feels like minus seven here is right now is what did it say two degrees feels like minus. it's snowing outside again bro it's fucking snowing outside again Ooh. Oh man. Oh. Bro. You know what's going to be the cr biggest crack up? So when we're in um, Copenhagen, obviously I'm going into the hood, but I'm, I'm crossing over to Sweden, into Malmo. Going into the hood, that's going to be cold, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be cold. That it's proper snowing. <sighs> Thank you. I'll never annoy you again. Bye. I like this gym. I like this gym. Mad gym. And they're nice, bro. You know what I mean? She come up to me and was like, hey, you can't film here. Like, what's going on? And I explained it to her and she was like, oh, no, that's sweet, you know? Bro. <laughs> Blood, no, cuz. This is fucked, lad. Brother, this is fucked. I want to go catch the boat. It's putrid, lad, because it's like... Mother, my shoes are going to be soaked before I even head out today. How am I gonna do this shoot in the, in this lad? Yeah. Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, we're crossing over into Sweden. Um, talking about how cold it's gonna be. Blah blah blah. It's cold snow. Fuck, get over it. Yeah, you heard it before, mate. 
welcome to Northern Europe. Anyway, that's me. I'm out. I'll leave you with some beautiful scenery. <laughs>